Hi Cardinals and Toucans. Your assignment today is to make a diamante poem. A diamante poem. Remember that we talked about these types of poems last week. Okay, so if you are a cardinal, if you are a cardinal, you are going to use your book, Cinderella, and you are going to use your book, Cinderella, and those are going to be the top and the bottom of your diamante poem. So you would put Cinderella and Cinderello. If you are a toucan, if you are a toucan and you are using this book, you will make your diamante poem about a party and about Christmas because they are both parties, okay? So we'll put, for an example, birthday party and Christmas. Okay, those will be the two things at the top and the bottom of your diamante poem. So again, if you are a toucan, you will be reading this book again, Vale esse livro de novo, and your diamante poem will be about a birthday party, and about Christmas, okay? So a birthday party and Christmas. If you are a cardinal, your diamante poem will be about Cinderella, that will go at the top of your diamante poem, and at the bottom of your diamante poem, you will write about Cinderella. So, Let's take a look at this example. Vamos dar uma olhada nesse exemplo, okay? This is the example that we did together last week. A gente fez exemplo juntos na semana passada. So let's take a look. So, at the top of our diamante poem, aqui em cima do nosso poema diamante, we have a noun. Remember that a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So the top of our diamante poem, we have the word cat. Okay, we have the word cat. Next, we have two words that describe a cat. So two words that describe, descreve, two words that describe our noun is called an adjective. So if I say, for example, the white shirt, my noun is shirt, and white is describing the type of noun. So here we have two adjectives describing cat. Two adjectives describing cat. The first one we have gentle, and the next one we have sleepy. Those two words we decided together, and she decided juntos, about a cat. So first we have our noun, then we have two adjectives describing our noun, and number three, right here, we have verbs. We have three Verbs, three verbs describing, descrevendo, describing cat. So we put climb, escalar, run, correr, and hide, esconder. We put these three verbs to describe cat. Now, you see how these are a different color? Tá vendo como que são cores diferentes aqui? Esse roxo aqui? Why? Why? 
Why? Why are they different? They are different because all of these words here are the same for cat and dog. Now, in the middle here, são os mesmos para gato e cachorro. Por isso vão no meio do, do diamante. Okay? So, in the middle here, we have whiskers. Remember, on a cat and a dog, there's whiskers. We have run because both cats and dogs like to run. Que gato e cachorro, os dois gostam de correr. Por isso a gente colocou no meio. Eat. Both cats and dogs eat. And then we put tongue. Tongue. Both cats and dogs have tongues. Okay? So, in the middle here, you can put a noun, you can put a verb, and you can put adjectives. Okay? But only in the middle to describe both. Okay? They're describing both cats and both dogs. Now, on the end here, on the end, we have the word dog, cachorro. Here, we have two words describing a dog. We have the word cute, and we have the word smelly. Cute and fofo, smelly and mm, smelly, okay? That's describing a dog. We thought of that together. She pensou como na nossa turma e a gente decidiu que essas são as duas palavras que descrevem cachorro. The next thing are the three verbs, os três verbos, para descrever cachorro. Run, walk, andar, and jump. Jump, okay? So, you need to do the same thing, and then at the very end, close your diamond. Só no finalzinho que vocês vão fechar seu diamante, okay? To make a Diamante poem, okay? And again, this will be here to help you if you need help. Remember, the first word is a noun. The next two words are adjectives. The next three words are verbs. In the middle is everything, okay? For both cats and dogs, what they have alike, okay? Here are the three verbs for dogs, the two adjectives for dogs, and our noun for dog. So look at how I have the arrows there. I have the arrows. I have the arrows pointing to where each one goes. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. If this was just for you to see. So again, cardinals, you will use Cinderella, and Cinderella, Cinderella, up here, Cinderella, down here, you will make your own Diamante poem, and toucans, you will compare a birthday party and your Christmas celebrations. So how are they different? How are they the same? Okay, and in the middle, you're going to say, how they are alike. Do you eat? Do you listen to music? Do you talk? Do you go to church? What do you do that is the same? Okay? When you are finished, if you also need help, you can look at this example. You may ask me a question. You may ask another person from your group a question. And you may also watch this video again as many times as you need. Okay? All right. Good luck.